is in on a story that Colt Curtis covered involving a sick puppy and a pet insurance company that wouldn't cover the bill. Curtis Ming is here with what happened when the dog's owner took the company to court. Well, the judge dismissed the case without prejudice, and we're going to explain why in just a minute. But first, let's bring you up to date on the case of Roxy, the sick pup. When she's like this, I'm happy. <laughs> Roxy Hart is apparently feeling well today. But that wasn't the case last June, two weeks after Lisa Lopez and her son Isaiah brought her home. When she first got sick, you know, we were just watching her and crying and crying. I was like, I don't know, she's going to die. And I said, no, no, we can't let her die. Let's go. We're going. Let's take her to ER. Over the next several months, Roxy was in and out of the vet's office and undergoing tests. By November 1st, a CAT scan confirmed she had a liver shunt. It's a congenital condition where a vein bypasses the liver, preventing it from filtering out toxins from the animal's bloodstream. The resulting illness can lead to death. Lisa's vets recommended surgery. The True Penion pet insurance she bought when she got Roxy states online it covers congenital disorders. But when Lisa sent True Penion the diagnosis, they called her. And she said, well, it's pr we're saying that it's pre-existing. So pre-existing during the waiting period. That 30-day waiting period ended on July 14th. Her insurance was in effect. And even though Roxy wasn't diagnosed until three and a half months later, True Penion said it would not cover the $7,000 surgery. I was just in shock. I said, that, that's not right. You know, how could you guys do that? Please remain seated to come to order. Department 17 is now in session. Lisa sued True Penion's parent company, American Pet Insurance, in small claims court. I think they're, you know, just trying to find a loophole. Both sides argued their case. We don't go based on the diagnosis. We go based on the symptoms. Two months later, she got her judgment. The commissioner dismissed her case, saying if the plaintiff had spent the money and had the surgery on Roxy, this court could decide. But since Lisa hadn't, she said this case is not ripe for this court. Now, that's a classic situation where the judge should rule and should give you an, an order that either it's covered or it's not. Consumer attorney Stuart Towey says since the court did not rule, Lisa can appeal the decision in Superior Court. And she doesn't need a lawyer to do it, although consulting one would be very helpful. After her day in court, Lisa reflected on what she calls True Penion's misleading sales pitch. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> Don't believe everything you read. Well, it's a pricey surgery and Lisa doesn't have the money to pay for it. Small claims court said she cannot sue there unless she's already paid for that surgery. So, I mean, what options does she have? Right. Do you think? Well, she, if she could find a way for the dog to get the surgery, then she'll have a bill. She could go back to small claims court and sue with that bill in hand, mm -hmm. or she could appeal the decision to superior court, Yeah. which mm -hmm. often you have to consult an attorney that might cost her money. Right. I mean, it's a risk either way of right. losing money. That's what I was just or thinking. losing the puppy. Definitely. What a mm -hmm. position. Yeah. Gosh. Tough position to be in. All right, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. We've got a team of people here ready to take your call. Call the hotline Monday through Friday, or you could go to our website and fill out our form.